Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Manju, and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass, right? So we have already done about like 53, 54 chapters. So for those of you who are looking at this video as the very first video, take a look at this tutorial from chapter one and that will help you build your base and actually reach miles with LWC. Okay, cool. So for those of you who have been following in the last few tutorials, what we have done is we've understood how to pass data from parent to child how to pass data from parent to child if it is a non-primitive method how do i call child methods from parent and then we understood a bit about reactivity right now you might ask himanshu is there a way to actually embed html into my child component right and that is where slots come into picture so this is going to be a specific tutorial around how you can embed embed or inject html into your child components all right so let me just get rid of all of this from here and before i get started if i go to my browser we have a lot of things done here right and a lot of different uh, lwc components created do comment if you guys would want the source code for each one of these okay for you to practice or you know manage or you know check it just let me know in the comments if the source code would be helpful so i'll publish it some at some place probably in my website and you can access it from there but do let me know if you need the source code for all of this that we have done in the past okay let me just go ahead and edit page i'll get rid of these three components from here now and we'll make space for our new component so let's get rid of this let's put this here let's put this guy here and let's put this guy here cool everything has moved out save let's go back and now what we're wanting to do is we want to actually embed html on a child component through the parent that's our use case for today's video okay so i'm just going to go ahead and create a new component and I'll say create new slot setter all right I'll just call it slot setter and here in the HTML what I want to do is I want to actually call a child component right so I'm just going to create one more component without impacting or reusing the previous one so I'll call slot child setter all right I'll create this component and here in the HTML I'll just create a div okay and I'll say ready to accept slots all right this is my child component i'm going to go ahead and deploy this first and then the name of the component is what slot child setter keep the spelling correct then only it will be helpful copy the name go to your parent component which is here and go ahead and call it so how do you call it c hyphen paste the name put a kebab case wherever put a hyphen wherever there's a capital thing and just replace the capital with small done we have successfully embedded a child component right now we can do this because we have learned it perfect now i'll go ahead and just mark this as true so that this is available for us to choose in the lightning home page this will be targets and then inside every targets there would be target tag and this needs to be lightning let's say app page what are we using by the way let's see is it a app page or a home page it's a home page so let's go back let's call it home page save deploy all right so the base setting the stub has been created now we look into our tutorial our actual thing right so let's go back refresh our page did i save it or not let's see yeah i saved it now if i look at my list here what do i have what is the name slot setter right so i'll get this guy here cool ready to accept slots perfect let's say save all right save and back so my home page has my child component showing information now the scenario here is i want my parent component to be able to add any markup to child component that is where slots come in picture so this is what, what are slots slots are more like you know spaces you know bundle of spaces where you can inject or put something right so let's say you are going for an audition so you are given a slot you're going for an interview you're given a slot right so similarly slot is given wherever you want to embed any kind of markup html markup from your parent level okay and what is the way of doing it the very simple way of doing is using this html tag as a placeholder on the child level slot slash slot so i'll just go ahead and take this up okay let's go back to vs code and where should this be where do you want to inject your code you want to inject your code in the child component i'm going to just put a slot here make sense all right so this is my slot now so ready to accept slots and this is my slot i'll just first of all deploy this first 
okay deployed let's go back let's see if anything changed on the HTML side nothing changed the slot is there the tag is there but there's nothing inside it correct now how do I pass information to this slot in my child component from my parent component that's the ask and that's the basically the fundamental idea of this particular tutorial okay so what do you have to do is basically you have this component here right now you what do you do normally you pass variables here you pass values from here you write any kind of listener right but now you have to pass some HTML content so you cannot pass it from here you have to go inside the component here all right and this is where you can actually create a comp a HTML content that can actually reach your child save so this content is supposed to be injected via slot so if I say deploy here go back refresh so what do you see added this markup into slot area has automatically come and it is sitting where this particular markup has basically been taken from the parent gone to the child replace this section with this value as simple as that make sense and that's all you need to know about slots nothing nothing more than that that is all okay it's nothing fancy nothing big it's just that you have to use this slot right now can you do multiple uh, HTML markups here yes you can like prepare basically you can have your entire form created here so if I were to do something like lightning card title is equal to coming from parent right and if you have to pass any parameter value also you can pass it from here all right you can do that by passing it by using the binding variable okay now coming from parent this is my this is the child setter component referencing a parent slot data okay let's say deploy let's see how it looks like I'll say deploy if I go back to the child I have the slot here right cool let's say refresh and you will notice that the child component see the parent is not a lightning card the child is a lightning card and that has come as expected make sense all right I'll put a div here I'll add a class SLDSM around medium and I'll enclose my entire lightning card with a div now this entire thing will go into the slot all right now this is a very straightforward concept and a straightforward example but there could be a scenario wherein you would want to let me okay that's fine let me get the styling sorted a bit let me take the same thing on the parent as well so that the component looks a bit better all right and then ready to accept slots is the title on the parent level and I don't need this particular section and I'll simply put the slot okay this div can be closed save now I don't even have to you know call a, call this particular thing entirely or we can still call it so you can have a lightning card within a lightning card let's see how it looks so now the slot is sitting here okay let's say deploy and let's go back here and let's say deploy here as well okay done refresh so you will see a card inside a card but that text is not coming up here why is that so lightning card coming from parent is there something wrong here it, is, it has a card but it's not showing the title yes this title is not showing up okay this could be, could be some issue here maybe I'm not able to use a lightning what do you call it lightning element maybe but let's take the slot now it's okay all right cool
school so i have this child setter component referencing the referencing information from the parent now this is a very basic use case right now the other use case is basically let's say you have to like actually create something of your own and something that needs sections for when i say sections let's say you have a scenario wherein you have creating a form that would have a header that would have a footer and that would have the main content where you ask information correct so how do you kind of control what goes to the header what goes to the footer and what goes to the main content in the child object via slot concept hmm? so what you can do on the slot level is you can have multiple slots created make sense you can have multiple slots created all right and now these slots that you create are listed here but they cannot be duplicated what do you have to do is you'll have to give them a name you'll have to tell that this slot that i'm up, up keeping is for the header this slot that i'm keeping is for the footer this slot that i'm keeping is for the body main content right now that you have three slots with three names and then you try to want to access it from the parent how do you access it from the parent let's see that i'll get rid of this from here for now let's simply keep the div right and here what i'll do is i'll put a slot name all right so i'll have to use the names here and i'll have to tell the system that this div is basically let's say i'll put a header here first all right then i'll put the main content and then i'll put the footer okay so these are the three divs this one will host the main content this one it will host the footer information all right but now how do you say the system that this div has to go to this particular slot this div has to go to this particular body and this div should be sitting on the footer the third one so you have the names here and that's what you're going to use so every html attribute provides you the slot attribute and you can simply use that attribute to name your divs so what you can do is you can say this is for my header this is for my body this is for my footer and you can simply put all of it with the right name and it will automatically place the right divs in the right slots by the name matching as simple as that all right so if you have to use a common header across so you can do this you can copy and use this across places but if, if your body or the main content is different just this particular slot will change right that's how it will come in handy the naming of the slots will come in handy make sense so i'll just go ahead and say deploy i'll say deploy while this happens going back to our keynote so you slot as a placeholder to allow parent components to send or pass markup to child components all right you can have multiple slots as well to display different markup that we just saw you should use slots when you have a straightforward requirement because basically you should not be going too complex in terms of the html then it will be very clumsy right so if you have a straightforward requirement that you know have to inject a specific kind of markup only for this scenario use a slot all right but don't you overuse it it might make it a bit complicated and confusing so use this approach which does not involve much functions and switch to using the composition meaning the nesting of components if you find the use case a bit complex or something that needs careful curation okay so ideally you would want to use the composition a bit more because you never know how complex your component can get but if you know that it's a straightforward static information and i have to pass information from parent to child uh, through the html markup i'll simply use the slot okay but again personally not a big fan of slots i'm a big fan of the composition all right let's refresh let's see if it is deployed or not yes so if you see the header the main content and the footer are all coming up and if i were to inspect this let's see how this shows up on the elements level so if i were to inspect this whole section you see the c slot child setter is basically my child this has three slots see the first slot is holding the header the second slot is the body it is holding the main content the third slot is the footer which is holding the footer content it is not like all of them have gone into the single slot all right makes sense perfect now you might ask me himanshu if i don't have a name for a slot what do i do that's fine you can put a default slot as well keep it like this and whatever you want to pass without any name 
will go to the default slot this content is being rendered by the default slot and has not been picked up by any of the named slots save let's say deploy so what I've done, I already have the three named slots, but I have a default, more like an unnamed default slot. So anything that any content inside your child that does not have a slot name will fall back to the default slot. That's the idea. Let's deploy this and let's see how it looks in the inspect element. That will give you a clear picture. Refresh. So this content is being rendered it did not go to the header did not go to the main content did not go to the footer what if it is with the footer let's verify if I say inspect element here and if I say hover over to the footer you see that the footer is in the footer section but there's another slot here which is containing the content that we pasted it is the default slot all right so very short very simple tutorial nothing fancy nothing big but that kind of covers how you can actually interact between parent and child, how you can call your child component methods, how you can pass data, be it primitive or non-primitive, and how, how does reactivity work, how, when do you use the track operator, track decorator, and where to use slots, and when to use component composition. All right, in the last four tutorials, we've been able to achieve all of this. Cool, so just put a comment that all of this is making sense to you, and that would be very helpful. All right, great, that was all for this particular tutorial. I'll see you in the next one, bye. Oh,